Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Our plugin, GIF Auctions for WooCommerce, includes some options to allow the customers to keep track of the auctions they are more interested in. So, in today's video, we're going to learn how we can manage and configure a watchlist where the users can add different items to a list and keep track of them, and also how we can enable the option to follow an auction so the customers can receive different email notifications for example, when the auction is about to end. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel, and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Okay guys, as we mentioned, today we're going to learn, first of all, how we can enable the watchlist. For that, we need to go over to our general tab and click on auction options. Here, from this section, general options, we actually need to scroll all the way down until we find our option, which is right here, enable watchlist. As you can see, in our case, we already have it enabled and what this option actually does is that it allows the logged in users to create a watchlist with the actions that they are most interested in. Now, to see how this really works, let's go to our site. So, thanks to this feature, now if we open any of our auctions, for example, let's go ahead and see this one. If we scroll down below the bidding field, we're going to find our Add to Watchlist option. In this case, as you can see, there are already two other users that have added this object to their list. So, let's go ahead ourselves and click on this option. Perfect. Just like it says in the message, this auction has already been added in our watchlist. Also, if we notice, the number of users has updated automatically. Now, let's go ahead and try to add a different auction to our list, just so we can see another example. Let's go back to our shop. This time, we can open this auction, the angel painting. And same as we did before, we're going to go over here to our Add to Watchlist option and click on it. There we go, already added. Now, if we want to see all of the auctions that we have added to our watchlist, all that we need to do is go over to our My Account and My Auctions page. And here we have them, the two auctions that we have added to our watchlist. As you can see, very easy to find in case that we want to keep track of the auctions that we have included and we're interested in. However, there is actually a simpler way to have access to the objects that we have added to our watchlist. And for that, we can use our Yeet Auctions Watchlist widget, which is right this one. If we notice, if we hover over this icon, then we will have access to the list of auctions in our watchlist, which will be available to access from any page in your site without the need to having to enter your My Account page. Now, let's go ahead and see how we can add this widget to our site, which is very easy and works just like any other WooCommerce widget. So, for that, we need to go over to our GIF dashboard, we find Appearance, and we click on Widgets. In here, all that we will need to do is decide where we want to place our widget. In our example, we have added the widget in our header widget area, so let's go ahead and open it to have a closer look. We can find our GIF auction watchlist, and also we can see that it has a couple of options. For example, we can decide whether to show an extended widget or, as in this case, a mini widget and also decide whether to show or not the items count. Now, what we can do, since we have already seen how the mini widget looks like, is to go ahead and add another auction watchlist widget, but this time in our default sidebar. So, let's go ahead and open here. We click to add a new block and we search for our watchlist right here, GIF auction watchlist and we don't need to add any title and the option of extended widget is already selected. All that I'm going to do is select as well to show the items count. Now we're ready, so let's go ahead and update our changes so we can go back to our page and have a look. For that, we can actually go from here to customize and same as for all of our videos, in this case, we're also using our free Proteo theme, which is available to download directly from our site. Now, from this menu that we have here, if we go over to WooCommerce, Single Product Page, Sidebar Management, if we notice here in the sidebar position for single product pages, it is selected the No Sidebar option. 
So let's go ahead and change this to enable it on the right side of the page. And now from this field below, we need to select, of course, the sidebar where we have added our widget. In this case, we have included it in our default sidebar, so we select it. And now to make sure that everything is correct and the sidebar is displaying our widget, let's go ahead and open this product to have a look. And here we have the end result just like we configured. On the right side, we have the sidebar displaying our JIT Auctions Watchlist widget, which has all of the information of the two auctions we have added to our list. Now, the best option of these widgets, either the extended version or the mini widget, is that the customers won't have to go all the way to their My Account, My Auctions page to have access to all of this information, making it much easier for them to keep track of the auctions that they are more interested in. Now, guys, if you recall, at the beginning of the video, I had mentioned I wanted to show you two options. So far, we have already seen one, which is, of course, our watch list, but now I want to show you the second theater, and that is the possibility to follow an auction. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Back to our plugin General Options, we need to scroll down until we find the Chrome and User Notifications section, which is right over here. And within this section, we're going to find this option to allow users to follow actions. In this case, if we enable it, the users will be able to leave their email address in the auction page to receive different notifications related to the actions. Additionally, if we have this option enabled, we can also set a privacy field. Let's see, if we enable this as well, we can then configure a custom message to display in the privacy checkbox. However, for this example, we don't really need this option, so I'm going to disable it. I only wanted to show you but I do want to focus on the next option we have here. Send email to followers. In this case, we will have the option to select which notifications we want to send to the followers of an action. Let's have a closer look. We have three different notifications. To notify any new bid in the auction they follow, to notify when the auction is about to end, or when the auction is closed by buy now. Now, to see an example, let's go ahead and select one of these options. For example, to notify when the auction is about to end. In this case, there is an additional field that we need to configure, and that is right here. Send notifications to notify the ending auction. And over here, we need to set how much time before the auction ends the email is going to be sent. And also we can set it, let's see, in days, hours, or minutes. For the moment, we can leave the example as it is to one day before the auction ends. Now we're ready to go ahead and save our changes so we can go back to the page and see this option in action. Over here, let's go ahead and open one of our auctions to see the new option we enable. Let's see, for example, this object. And over here, if we scroll down right below our watch list, we're going to find the new option we enable to follow this auction. As we can read over here, we will keep you updated about this auction. In this case, all that we need to do is enter here our email address and click on this button to stay updated. So let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. As easy as that, we have signed up to follow this auction. And now to make sure that everything is working correctly, what we need to do is edit the end date for this auction. Because as we can see here in the countdown, this auction still has nine days left but we configure in our option that the email is going to be sent only when the auction has one day left. So let's go ahead and edit our product so we can change the end date. And for that, we need to go over here to our auction settings and we click on the end date and we're just going to modify it to tomorrow. That's done. And now let's go ahead and update our product so we can go back to our product page. And now if we take a look at the countdown, we can see that the auction has now only 12 hours left. This means that if everything is working as it's supposed to, we should have already received our email informing that this auction is about to end. So to check that out, let's go now to my email. Here we are, and as you can see, we have indeed received our email notification indicating that the auction is about to end. And over here in the message, we can find more details related to the auction that we have signed up to follow. In this case, the Mona Lisa painting. 
and it will show over here the current bid as well as the end date, which in this case is in one day. Additionally, this email notification will also include a link to redirect the customers to the auction page so they can proceed and place a new bid. To test that, let's go ahead and click on this link. And we're back to our auction page where the customers can proceed to place a last bid before the auction ends. As you can see, this feature will help your customers to not miss out on the auctions they are more interested in, keeping them informed of the latest and most relevant information related to these auctions. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!